Hey friends, it's Alex from Vulture Culture, and this is the Bob Moog Tribute Library 2 for Spectrosonics Omnisphere. Wow. So what is the Bob Moog Tribute Library? Well, 10 years ago, Spectrosonics came up with a library of about 800 patches made from over 50 artists, and all of the proceeds of this library for Omnisphere went straight to the Bob Moog Foundation. And what they do is they have a student outreach program, which is designed to get young people excited about synthesizers, as well as they maintain the Moogzeum, Moogzeum, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> so this charity library came out 10 years ago, and now they're up updating it to basically a volume two by adding 500 new patches, bringing the total to over 1300 patches in this library. It's 99 bucks and all the proceeds go straight to that charity. I thought today what would be kind of cool would be to go through all of the new patches that we just got added to it. By the way, if you already bought the library back then, this is free. Like Spectrosonics likes to do, once you've paid once, you don't have to pay again. To find the sounds in Omnisphere, once you've installed the library, go to the directory and go to the Moog Tribute Library. This will have everything in it, but what we can do is we can search volume two, and that will bring up only the patches that are have just been added. And you can see that there are are hundreds and hundreds of new patches that got added. There's no way I could play all of them for you in a video, but I thought I'd go through and I'll edit out the ones that aren't as exciting, but I'm gonna try to play a bunch of them. So what I'm gonna do is just go to the top and hit the randomize button. And that's a really great feature in Omnisphere uh, where we can just get random patches and I'm gonna play some and hopefully we see what the new library sounds like. So the first patch that came up is And I Beat You More. Ooh! Wow! What a cool little riff right here! Oh, this is awesome! What a great little first uh, pad to hit. Drummer in my resonator. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's using the resonator effect. Wow, really cool. Power Trucker Bass. So thick. Music for headaches. Ooh, that is Nine Inch Nails as fuck. Whoa. Oh my God, that is crazy cool. So a lot of these patches are obviously using the expanded sequencer capacity of uh, Omnisphere now. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not. It doesn't even have the ARP on. How does this work? It's got the Jan Hammer chord in there. For those of you guys that don't know, that was from the original Moog library. 
<laughs> wow, that is some pretty crazy chaos. Funkify bass. Ooh, that is thick. Electro circuit breaks. Oh my God, there's so many cool. All right, let's see what happens if we change the mod wheel. Oh my God. Okay, so real quick, let's look and see what's going on. It's gotta be going on the ARP over here. You can see that the arpeggiator in Omnisphere is incredibly powerful. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Mental instability. Perfect for some sort of film scoring. Flow of cognition. What a cool little... Sometimes I get comments on my videos, which is like, why do you talk about Om Omnisphere so much when you have all these vintage synthesizers? Because of shit like this. <laughs> Vinyl sonar ping. Ooh, this is beautiful. And that's another incredible thing about Omnisphere. I mean, when you hear this sound, does this sound like a digital synth, really? There's such warmth and character to that, and grit. So cool. Gothic dust. Ooh, this one's really cool. Like a really cool Reese type sound. Luscious Moog pad. Laser sequence one. Harm hammer wide. Very velocity sensitive. Suspicious Carpenter. Oh, that's like a horror movie sound. Oh, I love it. It reminds me of uh, puppet combo games. Really cool. I wonder what the mod wheel does. I don't know. Kind of clone synth. Pistons of bass. Wow, that is thick. What an interesting little texture to there. Beautiful vinyl. Wow. Incredible. Protonic hi Highway. Ooh. Whoa. Oh man, this patch is crazy cool. Oh, I love the way it bends. That is beautiful. VHS visitation. Very fifthy. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Last Remnant. Wow. 
Wow. How do they even make a sound like that? Blade Rider. Oh yeah. Oh man, this library just makes me want to score something. So cool, so cool. Whistly Moog Pad. Oh yes. Was gorgeous. Dark step sweep. Oh my gosh, we've got a respace here. Man, that is some serious shit. Arpanots notizer. Oh, that's beautiful. Just ebb and flow. Getting some really cool different kinds of tonalities in there. How do they do this? Fluctuating warmth. Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy person, give it to me. Love of machinery. Whoa! There's... Whoa! Made from a mini mode in a spring reverb? Are you fucking kidding me? That's like the sweetest snare drum I've ever heard. A pad, I cannot. That is crazy. Just gorgeous. Oh my god, I love that. It might be my favorite sound of the whole thing. Let's put some five stars on that. Vic 78 RPM. Whoa, shit! they even do that? Get your freak on. What? Industrial Revolution hits. Jitter, screech, stinger. Hiccup nerve. Disintegrated help synth. Woof. Whoa, yeah, come on, let's reese it out, baby. I'm 
I'm a slut for everything Nero. Dark Side of the Sun! something else. Windy day, Pat. Oh, yeah. I love these types of sounds. I never get tired of them. Razor sharp Puya bass legato. Robot Insect Overlords. Whoa! Whoa, it changes the pattern up. Wow. That is crazy. Rain stick shower? Oh, I love... Wow. Coloratura. Through the underscape. Yes! Oh my god. I love big sounds like this. It is insane how big that is. Oh, we can really get it down to these weird little grainy things, too. Feels like there's a little arpeggiator in there. Playable textures are so good. Microbrew of the mind. Whoa. Unreal. Unreal. Exploring the void. Oh, there's an interesting little voice stealing. Bravo, whoever made that sound. These sounds sound so fresh. I don't have anything that sounds like this right now. Not even the rest of Omnisphere, which is kind of crazy to think about. I love what these guys do. I want to go real quick. I'm going to X out of the V2 here, and I'm going to go to all and then change the type to author because I wanted to show that a lot of the original artists, like we've got patches from Vince Clark in here. <laughs> from Depeche Mode. Um, we've got patches from uh, Jan Hammer, my namesake, if you don't know that my middle name is Jan. Listen to this. How crazy is this? And of course, the heavyweight himself, we have Hans Zimmer. And I wanted to take a second to really linger on this one because there's over a thousand samples in this library just from Hans Zimmer's Moog Modular. If you've ever seen Hans Zimmer, he's got this like wall Moog Modular that's crazy in his studio. And they're all like the most useful film scoring sounds you're ever going to get from the master himself that are all velocity triggered like let's let's go back to this one real quick how hard i hit it changes the pitch i 
and you can add a reverb and like it's crazy how deep just this one patch is. I mean, this is like when you think of Spitfire and the Hans Zimmer drums, there's a lot here in Omnisphere that you can use just immediately. Here's another thing. There's these patches where we've got like arpeggiations off of these. I mean, how fucking cool is this? Like, isn't this every action score? Little spies creeping up, getting ready to shoot somebody, you know? <laughs> I have to stop somewhere, so I'm gonna pick a Richard Divine patch, Dirty Bass Murph. This is from volume one, by the way, but it's all in there. Ooh. If you found this video helpful, please like it, subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference, and I'll see you in the next video.